Congratulations on your St. Louis Blues. Congratulations to the Blues. And you were uh, you were actually supposed to be on our show last night, and you asked us to move so I you could go to Game you. Seven. Yes, thank you for switching. Of you course, around. it made. Uh, yes. I was so happy you got to be. This is an organization that has never won a Stanley Cup. Never. And they went from uh, worst to first. They were the worst team in the NHL. <laughs> yeah. At the beginning of January, and last night they won the Stanley Cup in Boston. So that was an interesting thing. Because did you go to Game Six in St. Louis? I didn't. You I didn't. didn't. So no, you I went. Couldn't. And there were a lot of uh, there were a lot of sort of famous uh, St. Louis fans. Yes. Uh, uh, some celebrities who liked the team, but you were the only one who showed up to Boston. I was, yeah, it was it was me, and I was the chump that showed up. Every it's black and yellow everywhere at the Garden, and here I am wearing this jersey. I'm like, hey, everybody. So uh, not a historically welcoming fan base, the people not, of Boston. No, yeah. and I literally, truly thought I was gonna get. Beaten up. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. So I, what I found was that people either wanted to give me the finger or take a selfie. It okay, was, got that it. was the pendulum <laughs> was swinging back and forth. And uh, but ultimately inside the garden, I got to tell you something. People were really cool. And then about midway through uh, the second period, I felt the energy start to shift. Yeah. And there was no one to blame but me and my friend Fred, uh, yeah. basically, who were wearing the blues uniforms. So it got a little, I was like, just let's let's bring it down. Let's not cheer so loud. Gotcha. People were super cool, though, ultimately. Did anybody yell anything uh, that felt very Boston to you? Was there Yeah, any they were just like, you'll never be a legend. Great. Like, all right. <laughs> Right. So I, I won't. You're right. That is I, mean, so... I, I mean, it's true. Like, all right. And then they were like, they actually, the people behind me truly wanted to rip uh, Bennington uh, limb from limb. That's I, the, I mean, yes, that's saying. the yes. sort of otherworldly goalie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is, is this uh, Pat Muldoon here? That's Pat Maroon. Uh, Maroon, sorry. He's also me. from St. Louis. So, yeah, uh, and he wasn't, uh, he played for Edmonton. He back. played for Edmonton. I was sitting next to him on a plane uh, a couple of years ago. He was like, hey, I play yeah. hockey. I'm from St. Louis. And then now he's on the Blues and he's, a real hometown hero. I love the guy. And uh, that was on the ice after the game. It was so exciting. And I you, am still so high from this You were thing. back in town in Thanksgiving when they were not a good hockey team. Yes, we kind of partied with the Blues. I ran into them at a bar after a, a loss. They had, they, had, they had lost, and I guess we're partying after the game. <laughs> and people on social media were like, why are you guys partying? You're horrible. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> And it then it works. turned around. It yeah. all worked. Sometimes exactly. it's just uh, helpful to be together. Uh, oh, cool. I want to congratulate you on this as well. Ten-year anniversary. Thank you very of much. What That's what I was like. Amazing. Super cool. Very and, uh, show uh, that I always uh, have the best time doing. Which You're I don't so think funny I'm alone. Uh, I think you make it a very uh, a fun place for guests to be. What do you have planned for this week? You know, shows? we're going. We're going. Uh, we're going to be on at ten for two weeks, which is super fun for me because I get to do everything earlier. And uh, we got a lot of big surprises. And it, it's insane looking back and seeing, like, did that happen? I can't believe it. We have the Countess Luann is going to perform her new song wow. on the show. Yes. You guys, got, we've been trying to get I her to do the song have, here. No, Jimmy, too. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, m most importantly, as we're going through the list of things to congratulate you for, you're about to have your first Father's Day as a dad. I am. Uh, yes, I am. Look at this little guy. There he is. Four months old. So cute. Yeah, it's amazing. That's that's my son Ben. Ben yeah, and uh, and how uh, how uh, how's it changed so far? Everything has yeah. changed. I mean, everything has changed. It's amazing. He's a little love bug. Uh, besides all the love. The gear, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The gear's in, it's oh, like, man. no, that's an adapter for that. Yeah. And then you need that to do that. It's absolutely insane. And I've got, uh, you know, I used to be Mr. Summer. I don't know if you knew that about yeah, me. Yeah, you were Mr. I was just Summer. You were Summer Mr. Guy. I was a mobile unit. I could go anywhere, yep. light as a feather, <laughs> flip flops, maybe bring my dog, maybe not, had a convertible. I'm like, wow, I need, now I'm, I was in the market to get an SUV to schlep all the stuff. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I'm so weighted down. And it happened by when I was partnering with Auto Trader, which is cool, which is like the leading resource for um, every kind of car. And um, they helped me find an SUV. And I kept looking. They have this list of the best new cars of 2019. I keep looking at the, I keep looking at the convertibles. Oh, yeah, they don't, no, they don't want no, you to I'm have that. No, I'm going to the SUV. I got an SUV. I'm How a soccer mom. That's I'm all right. I'm a soccer mom. Well, people keep telling me, like, don't. Don't like look away from minivans. Like don't sleep on minivans. They're oh, right. even better. No, I hear they're the yeah. best. So yeah. I got a friend who like uh, used to be a uh, cool. <laughs> he's like, dude, you need a minivan. And right. I'm like, 
<laughs> he, but you said he used to be cool as <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm right. like, but it's like, he's, but he's, he still thinks it's cool. Right. Like, he's driving around. I mean, I guess, like, you just, like, let that part of your brain die that judges it. Yes. And then you just rock around right, in, a, exactly. in a minivan. How are yeah. you, like, getting the, uh, the stroller collapsed? Are you good at it? Um, starting to be better. Yeah. We, we flew to L.A. two weeks ago for the week and, and flying with the gear and taking the elevator up instead of the escalator. I'm like, here, I can just tilt it on the escalator. They're like, no, you can't actually. <laughs> yeah. You can't do that with him. Um, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I you fight say, with everything. It sounds everything. like you're going really well. Yeah, it does I know. sound yeah, like it's you're going great. Well. I'm leaving, like, depressed. <laughs> I was excited about Father's Day a little while ago. You uh, you should be. Uh, it is the, the greatest uh, joy in the world. Yes. Thanks so much for being here, man. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Man.